Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick, here from Laidback Languages. If you are learning a foreign language, and it's the first foreign language that you're learning, this is what I specialize in. I help people who don't really know how to learn languages, they might not feel they can learn languages, maybe they think they're too old. Or... I dispel all of these myths and I help you learn a foreign language and get fluent and confident in a foreign language as an adult. So, that sounds good make sure you hit the subscribe button. In today's video, I want to talk about keeping it simple. Why simplicity is so important in language learning. Language learning is all about one thing. What is that one thing, I hear you ask? It is communication. That is the whole point of learning a language. You use a language as a tool of communication. So, communication should be your number one goal and vision when learning a language. You want to be able to communicate a message between you and another person. Communication and connection. This is what you want to focus on. So, with that said, what is the best way to communicate a message? I'll ask you this. Is it more effective to have a very complex idea and try to communicate it with a lot of words? Or is it easier to break it down into simple building blocks and go phrase or even sometimes go word by word, expressing what you want to say to another person? Well, the answer, of course, is the latter. It's got to be simple. If you want to communicate effectively to another person, your ideas need to go from this to this. And this is how we move when we learn a foreign language, because obviously when you're speaking your mother tongue, let's say your mother tongue is English, you might have a thought, something you want to express to the other person. And this thought comes to you like this. It's a big idea. It's very complicated. It's got a lot of complex grammar that you in your target language, the one you're trying to speak and communicate in, you don't have the skills to pay the bills. Not yet. And that's OK. What you want to do then is simplify simplify and ask yourself what am i really trying to say here you have to simplify your message and try to think in in instead of thinking in thoughts instead of thinking in words this may sound a bit abstract and strange but bear with instead of thinking in words think in ideas instead ask yourself now what is it i'm trying to communicate at this moment what am i trying to get across to this person. Maybe you've got an expression in your head and you want to say, oh, I haven't eaten, I haven't eaten all day and I'm starving. That's what the English thought would come in. I haven't eaten all day and I'm starving. Okay, what am I really trying to communicate to this person? Let's take this as an idea and communicate with words that are gonna be simpler that I can use in my target language. Let's say it's French, for example. Okay, what French words can I use to express this idea. And you paint a picture in that way, you see, you move forward in that way. You say something like, I am hungry. Yeah, express that first of all, I'm hungry. Okay, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Maybe you don't have the grammatical tense to say that. So you, you express it in the present. I don't eat for much time. I don't eat since much time. Okay, and this is how you build your level in a language. You continue communicating with the person and if you're good at listening, which is the major skill, I coach people on how to listen properly and effectively, you then just listen to what the person says because they'll phrase it back to you in a proper way. They'll phrase it. If you've communicated what you mean, they'll understand that and they'll use language which is going to be of a more advanced level. Now this is when you repeat back using the same language that they've said. So however they phrase it, maybe they've got an expression for feeling very hungry. They eat, oh, they say, oh, you're, you're dying of hunger, are you? You take that expression, you say, yes, I'm dying of hunger. And so you're learning directly from the other person. And it all comes from starting to communicate simply. Get out of your own way. Get out of your native language. You don't need your native language to learn another language.
I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. You don't need English. Let's pretend your native language is English. You don't need English to learn Spanish. You need Spanish to learn Spanish. So what you need to do is simplify your ideas that come to you in English. Simplify them and communicate in little bits to the other person and then just listen and pay attention to how they communicate that idea and then copy. Language learning is not a complicated process if you know how to listen. And as I said, this is what I coach people how to do. I teach people, I teach adults their first foreign language, that's what I specialize in, getting them confident in speaking and above all, teaching them how to listen properly and effectively so that they can go on and become their own teacher. If this sounds interesting to you and you want to learn French, Spanish, Italian or Brazilian Portuguese directly with me, I take clients on one to one, check out my website, I'll leave a description, I'll leave a link rather in the uh, description box below. Thank you for watching, appreciate you being here, like and subscribe and do all that stuff helps with you know the algorithm and leave a comment if you've uh, heard something that resonates with you um, or not, if you're angry at me and you think that's rubbish, I don't believe what you're saying, write that in the comments as well, it's good for the algorithm, helpful. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you in another video.